It's time for the Mike Norvell Show, presented by AutoZone. Get in the zone, AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Jack Pirtle's Chicken, and by Mid-South Chevy Dealers. Welcome in, everyone. Well, big plays can overcome mistakes. It can uh, make heart attacks become heartwarming. And after this game with that physical bunch from Philly Temple, you're four and one. Congratulations. I appreciate it. It was uh, you know, starting off the conference uh, conference season the way we wanted to. You know, uh, big folks on being one and zero. And it was a game that really I think we can we can truly learn from. And uh, you know, we you know. I thought defense, you know, played extraordinary game. Uh, you know, really kept us in it early. You know, we had a couple mistakes there in the first half. You know, offensively and in special teams, but uh, you know, our guys responded. I thought they showed a lot of heart, a lot of character, and uh, you know, we found a way uh, to get it done with a lot of big plays in the second half and the team really coming together. Well, we've seen that the last couple of weeks where this team just won't give in, and you couldn't get in sync at all offensively in the first half. That's when you're talking about how good the, the defense played. But, the, you know, I wondered if there was just a carryover of physical soreness from that tough Ole Miss game, and you only had the four days uh, to rest. Yeah, well, you know, I, I believe everything for us uh, you know, really stems from just our execution. And, uh, you know, you play, you, you play in five days, you know, that's not – you've got to get up and get ready to roll. And so, uh, you know, I, I thought that we started off, we just didn't execute like we needed to. Um, you know, they, they were a good defense. That, that's, a, that's a defense that over the last couple of years only allowed one touchdown to, to, for, against Memphis in, in that two-year period of time. So we knew it was a challenge uh, going in, but, uh, you know, I thought we needed to execute a little better and I think as in the second half uh, really showed what we were capable of and, and be able to hit some of those explosive plays. Now, there were so many great plays. You're going to see all the highlights. But I got a feeling most fans' favorite was the Tony Pollard touchdown return because that's the end of a 20-year drought. Have you got a favorite? Uh, you know, I think, I think there's a lot of big plays that all, all really helped, uh, you know, put the, you know, Get the job done, and uh, you know it was. There were a lot of them that uh, I thought the uh, Dorland Dorsius run was huge. Ooh, I mean, yeah. really kind of gave us a momentum boost. Uh, the answer, you know, then Jannard Avery with the pick six, and then the answer when they went down and scored uh, for Tony to have the, uh, the the kick return for a touchdown. That's something we've been talking about since the first day we uh, we started working. You know, KR, we said this was a year we're going to get that get that uh, that streak uh, behind us and be able to move forward. And guys got it done. It was absolutely terrific. Can't wait to see all of it. And that's what's coming up next. All of the highlights, all of the big plays, that is for certain. You will love the Mid-South Chevy Dealers drive of the game and the inside access, which is all about the new tradition, Tiger Lane. And then finally, the AutoZone Road Ahead. It's another game that's not on Saturday. It'll be Friday night in New Orleans. But you're, well, I don't know if you're going to love the first half, but you'll love the outcome, I tell you that. Stick around. The Mike Norvell Show. Welcome back in. I was really worried about this Temple Bunch. They're physical, folks. Short week, as I've already said. But this is a ball club that's given the Tigers problems. They only played three times. They squeaked out one, and they got roughed up in the other two. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a physical game. We talked all week. It was going to be 60 minutes. And uh, we knew, regardless of how we started, uh, whether it was a fast start or, 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 you know, if we got behind a little bit, that you know, we just had to keep keep progressing, keep focusing on that next play and going out there. And, you know, our, our, we, we elected to defer. And a lot of that you know, came in with that thought of the 16-minute game. Never done game. that before. No, and, and uh, you know, I tell you, our, our defense, they came out, you know, I thought uh, – I thought they you know, came out and battled. You know, we, we were very aggressive with what we were doing. Um, you know, guys were, uh, were flying around on both sides. You know, we get the ball back on offense. You know, good first play. Uh, you know, this was and then then we have a third down and short. We get man-to-man -man coverage. And, uh, we got to make that play. And you know, Anthony Miller's had an unbelievable uh, uh, beginning of the season, and you know, he's a guy that we're gonna, that we're going to count on in, in big-time situations. And I know he'll make that one here moving forward. But um, you know, we just could never get a, a lot of rhythm offensively. Uh, you know, there in the first half, so our defense was playing a lot of plays, but I love their resiliency. You know, we got they, they got down in the, into the red zone, the defense tightened up, and uh, you know, held them to a field goal there, which was, you know, regardless of the situations that they were getting put into, our defense was rising the challenge. You know, here's an early mistake that, uh, you know, in special teams, you know, we put the ball on the ground, uh, gave them a turnover, you know, and gave them the ball inside the five-yard line. Uh, you know, that, that's, that cannot happen, but uh, once again, our defense, uh, you know, even though they're put in a negative situation, came back and responded. Can you gain momentum 
from just giving up a field goal here? I, I think so. I mean, I, I know that uh, you know our guys. We got you know that belief and the energy that uh, of making sure that we're just, uh, always forcing them to play that next play because uh, regardless of the situation, you know we got a chance to, to impact the game. Holding the three, I think, gave our defense some confidence in, in what they were doing and uh, you know, the fact that we could be able to, to hold these guys. It is ironic. It hasn't been lost on me. The kid that fumbled there. Ends up with a big play you'll see a little bit later. By the way, I love the all-white uniform look. It was the whiteout, and you are the one that chooses these little schemes. Well, it was, uh, you know, it's something exciting. You know, that's, you know, when, when we got here, we talked about wanting to be able to, uh, you know, that's one of my favorite uniform combinations, and so uh, you know, the kids loved it, and, you know, that might have been used as a little motivation at halftime to make sure we're getting our minds right so that we can actually wear those again at some point yeah. because, um, you know, you know, I, I, I love the look. I thought the guys, uh, you know, the, it's, a, it's a very sharp look, and it's going to be great for recruiting and all those aspects. But you look at offensively, just too many mistakes. You know, not, not being able to put together drives, third down conversions. Uh, those are all things we've got to be able to capitalize. But once again, defense comes back. Uh, you know, you know, you'll be able to get the ball out, create a takeaway, and once again, just kind of keep keeping the game uh, close and, and obviously giving the ball to our offense in good situations. And uh, once we just have to, we just have to continue to capitalize. Phil Mayhew, I thought, had another uh, outstanding game. He's been a guy that's has played at, at a very high level all year. Um, you know, and, and, you know, he's going to be a guy that's going to be you know, heavily counted on throughout this, the rest of the season. Now you will never see that again. Yeah, Thirty-five you know, yard chip. From the guy who's one of the great kickers, no, no question, it was just one of those nights, or so it seemed. And then they hit this long pass. This kid Yancey was good all day, all day long. Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought they played well. We had a very specific game plan. Uh, you know, we were going to stop the run on on defense. You know, force this quarterback to, to have to beat us with his arm. And I thought he played one of the better games that, that he's probably ever played. But you know, it still gave us opportunities. You know, we were able to create three takeaways. Um, you know, I think we held him under 100 yards rushing, which was a uh, uh, which is a, a great beat off of them. You know, they came off a game where they just had 260 yards rushing, and so we wanted to make them one-dimensional. And um, you know, they got a little, they got a drive here after we missed a field goal and, and put uh, put a touchdown on the board. But you know, our, our defense, you know, they responded well. Um, you know, once again, we just got to be able to, we've got to be able to help out on, on both sides of the ball. And, and uh, you know, I thought this was a big drive. It's right here before the half. Uh, we, we knew we needed to get down and get points on the board. Uh, we knew we were going to get the ball in the second half, but just to create that momentum, I thought Riley had, did a nice job on, on this drive, going through all his progressions, locating the ball in some amazing places. And once again, there's Phil Mayhew uh, coming up big for us. And Riley is showing his escapability, and these guys are good up front, folks. And this is a big play by Sammy. Had a couple of big plays here when you had to have him catching the football. Uh, none bigger than this one, though. But man, he, I, I think he thinks he's in. And this guy makes a great open field tackle. And now you've got a dilemma. You're going to go for it from the two. You're going to kick. You want points. Yeah, we, we knew right there. We only had four seconds left. Probably weren't going to be able to get off two plays. We elected to go with the points to kind of just give us a little spark there. You know, we put together a good drive, got points, and uh, you know, take some, some positive momentum going into the locker room. Well, when it was 13 nothing, folks were nervous. And you could see only 16 rushing yards. It took a long time, like the whole first quarter, to even get a first down. You were OK through the air. You forced one turnover, but you had a couple yourself, uh, and yet it's 13-3, and we are reminded all year long now, football is a 60-minute game, and you, it seems like the comebacks always come when teams score at the end of the half. Yeah, that was big for us to be able to get points on the board there, and and our defense really held us in it. I mean, that, that you know they, they had a couple of uh, uh, red zone stops, to creating a takeaway. I mean, that that kept the game close to where you know, we could go in, regroup, and uh, be able to come out and have a big second half. And you made some adjustments. We'll find out what those were. You'll see the second half highlights that comes your way next on the Mike Norvell Show. You're watching the Mike Norvell Show. Down 13-3 at the half in uh, four of the five games. We've seen the Tigers really play good in the second half. A lot of that might be attributed to physical fitness. Some of it could be to adjustments that you make. So give me a couple of things you wanted to do differently in the second half. You know, you know, our biggest thing was not to, I, I thought our guys started to press a little bit there uh, the end of the second quarter offensively. And, and you know, the biggest thing is just come back, trust your fundamentals. Let's go, let, I mean, let's go out there, put together a couple of drives and, and, and be able to get the ball moving down the field. 
Um, you know, I thought uh, you know, we were able to, to, to look at a couple things. You know, our defense you know, came out. We knew we needed to stop. You know, missed opportunity there by Gennard. I thought yeah, if he would have mm. got that one, had a chance to take that one all the way back. He'll but, make up for it later. Uh, no, no doubt. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, you, know, you see the defense playing with a lot of confidence. And, you know, the, everybody, the sideline was great. Or, you know, everybody was ready, you know, expecting that the big play was going to come. You know, expecting that, uh, you know, once we got rolling, we'd, we'd be able to, uh, uh, to to put ourselves in a position to, to win this football game. And, you know, I thought this was a, this was a good drive for us. It got us down. We got it. Uh, we were able to move the the ball, hit a big play to Phil, you know, there to, there to Sam, uh, getting in field goal range, and then be able to get points on the board again. So there's another successful drive, got some movement. We knew this was going to be a 60-minute game, but now we got it back into with, within a one-score game. And that was a 42-yarder with plenty to spare, and right back to work on defense, and you guys mean business. So does Jonathan Cook every time he puts that helmet on. Yeah, and I mean, you know, I thought our guys were flying around. Uh, you see, you know, you know, they did a good job of mixing up what they, you know, their offense with screen games, uh, the drop back pass. You know, we really able to eliminate a lot of their run game. And then we came back, we get the ball back, uh, you know, big run starting off uh, the first play of the series with Dorlin. Um, and we came right back to it. And, uh, you know, you see Dorlin makes the guy miss and then turns on the accelerator. And I was uh, really excited for him. You know, mm -hmm. we needed a spark. We needed a big play. And uh, Dorlin, who's been just such a warrior for us all year, uh, comes up with that play. And now we've got a tie ball game. And the thing about Dorlin I like against big physical teams, that's when he seems to run his best. He had 100 against Ole Miss. And uh, he was close to 100 here. And look at him pull away. Then he thinks he's got it. I don't think he realizes how quickly that corner is coming up, and he beats him anyway. Oh, yeah, it was a, it was a big run. And, uh, you know, really, really excited for him. And he's been a guy that's been, been a great player for us this year. And, They're swamp and, donkey. And then you felt the momentum. The, the momentum was swinging. And then, then came uh, the Jonathan Wilson with a, with a huge play on the sack. Puts him in a second long situation. And, and then the defense comes back with another uh, another takeaway. Pick six. Second one for Gennard Avery this year. Uh, just really Really proud of the way our guys are playing. Coach, maybe a little H back for this guy? Yeah, Can you uh, play I, both I, ways? I'll tell you what, we're, we're getting, we're getting, 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 speed. We're getting, we're getting plenty of work out of them over <laughs> on the defense. I, I, I like him having those pick sixes. That's pretty, pretty pretty good for us. But big hit by Sharif White right there that helped uh, jar the ball loose. And, uh, you know, it was a big play there. So it is 2013, and the Tigers actually, who've been down the whole game, now have the lead. And here's the Mid-South. Chevy dealers drive the game, and it starts with the tight end, who's been terrific all year long. No, yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was great. You know, our guys came down and executed. We knew this was a big drive. We go down and, and, and get a touchdown on the board, make it a two-point or a two-score lead. Uh, you know, I thought Riley did a nice job. Phil Mayhew, uh, you know, showed up. You know, Daniel Montiel had a had a uh, had a big catch within the series, and then setting up the the, the touchdown run by Daryl Henderson. You know, you see Daryl shows his his great speed. You know, runs through an arm tackle and. Uh, you know, gets uh, seven more points on, on the board for the Tigers. He can run the football. I mean, you've got five backs that clearly can run the ball. Pressure, and yeah. uh, that's a big play for Temple. You've got to give Walker a lot of credit on that, and this kid, Jahad Thomas, he is one of the best that you'll see in the American. Yeah, no question. He's an all-conference performer coming back. I thought the, the quarterback did a good job extending the plays. We had a little lack of communication, but once again, the response. You know, once they started to get a little momentum, you know, we came back and, uh, like we said earlier, ended the 20-year 20, 20 drought, and boy, sure good to see Tony Pollard finish that thing in the end zone. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so it's breathing room again, and this is 233 straight games. Go back to 96. Kevin Cobb, the win against Tennessee, and now finally Tony Pollard. They can't catch the kid from Melrose. Yeah, I thought I thought Coach Lord did a great job putting together a, a return that uh, you know he he told him on Sunday that, that this was the week, and uh, our guys, you know, there's 11 guys that came in that had to execute on that play, and it showed up big for us. Uh, they were able to go down and, and uh, you know get a score. We, you know we were able to uh, um, you know uh, to eat a lot of clock, clock off of it. They got the ball back with a little less than a minute, and then Chauncey uh, Chauncey Lanier, what a big play and finishing up uh, uh, what a wonderful game and cha championship level atmosphere. And uh, you know, I thought our guys really responded well. Chauncey with the pick, not only that, smart enough to get right down on the ground so that nothing could happen. And you did pick it up. You got 149 rushing yards against that excellent defense. You forced the three turnovers. And if you look at the balance, I know that makes a coach very happy. Yeah, you know, we talked a lot about, you know, one of the keys of the game, having to be able to run the football. And, uh, uh, you know, whoever was able to run the ball, you know, we thought was going to be able to win. And so uh, we held them to under 100 yards rushing. We had, a, we had a, you know, right around 150 um, in a lot of big, big explosive plays.
Doris see us and look at the total yards. This kid's going to end up with Pollard. That's going to happen a lot. And there's Jannard Avery. What a, what a stat line. Nine tackles, one sack, one interception. It was a tackle for loss in there, and he had a touchdown. Whew. That was a lot of fun. Four yeah, and one. That was, that, was, that was a great game and a great second half for half response. You know, there's been times this year, you know, especially the week before, you know, we had had a momentum swing and we didn't cut, we didn't quite capitalize on it. And that was the thing we talked to our guys was when that momentum swings, we have to go finish the game. And I thought our guys did a tremendous job of doing that. We got to take a break. When we come back, oh, there's a new tradition that everybody loves. Stick around. You're watching The Mike Norvell Show. When Tiger Lane was built, the walk became a new tradition. And oh, the players say it has grown. It's a good feeling to see all the fans come out and support our tie, support us on the field and stuff like that. And it's good to see the, the kids that look up to you, you can go up to them and shake their hand. And just, just look in their eyes and just see that you're a big difference in their life. Just just seeing that it just overwhelms you. you. Just I get excited. I just think about how my fans are here to come see us play, and I'm ready to put a show on for them. It's unbelievable. You know, I come from a college town, you know, right next to Auburn. So growing up, going to that, I've always wanted to do something like that. And man, especially like the Ole Miss game, thousands of people going out there. It really does send chills down your spine when that happens. Yeah, it gives you a certain adrenaline and goosebumps. You know, it's it's, it's awesome to see all those people out there cheering for you, knowing that. They're, they're excited for Tiger football just like you're excited to play for Memphis, you know. So uh, it's encouraging to see all those people continue to gather out there more and more, especially when we win more. So it's exciting. I mean, I love it. it it's, it's the best thing ever, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing all the fans just cheering for you. I mean, it just puts you in the zone because you just want to get a win for them. Yeah, it's an unbelievable experience, especially, you know, the way it's evolved this last couple of years, you know. Um, I'm a senior now, so freshman year, you know, going down, it was kind of empty. I mean, it was still special at the time, but. You know, these last these last two years has really it really ramped it up, and you know it's exciting rolling down the bus and seeing all those people waiting for you. Support, support is always well and appreciated. Um, when you get off the bus and you hear all the energy and the noise, and from the band, the cheerleaders, as well as fans, it's it's welcoming. We we get excited when we see Tiger Walk because we see all the people that are supporting us, and we really we really love that. I know the first time you took it, Coach, you were in awe. No, it's incredible, and it, I think it's a great opportunity to see who we represent, and uh, that's one thing that can never get lost in this game. The fans, the, the people in the communi community, it's just a, an incredible atmosphere, an incredible event. Next up, folks, we head to New Orleans. Yeah, the green wave of Tulane is the AutoZone Road Ahead. Coach, I hope you love Cajun cooking. The AutoZone Road Ahead is Tulane. That's Friday night, ladies and gentlemen, in Tulane. I know they're three and two. What kind of football team are they, Coach? They're a good team. They've played a lot of close games. Uh, the two losses were both uh, one score, one score games that they've had. Uh, but uh, you, we, first conference road test, and you know we know we've got to we have to go go down to New Orleans. We're going to have to play a, a top-notch opponent, and you know we've got to go out and, and execute our plan to be successful. And really, just the second road game of the year. Don't forget now. That is Friday night, and then we'll see you right back here next Sunday night, hoping that we'll be 5 and 1. Have a great week, everybody. Thank you for watching the Mike Norvell Show, presented by AutoZone. Get in the zone, AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Jack Pirtle's Chicken, and by the Mid South Chevy Dealers.